Okay, so this question uh, is based around the equation n lambda is equal to d sine theta. And it has to do with the wave nature of light. So um, in this you'll have n, which is the order of the image. This is when you've had monochromatic light, we'll say, uh, diffracted, you know, through diffraction grating or something like that, and it'll create different orders at different, here's the order, and here's the angle. And this is a quality to do with the diffraction grating. So in this question, <clears throat> um, the grating um, has 300, 300 lines per millimeter. Now, because we're in millimeters here, this is no good. We need everything in meters because we're going to try and keep everything in SI units. So in order to change that, uh, we say that it's 300. Well, if it had 300 lines per millimeter and there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter, well, then it would have 300,000 lines per meter. And we're going to use that in a second because we will find that D is equal to 1 over this value, so 300,000, which works out in this case if you do the, sum, the maths on it, you get 3.3 .3 by 10 to the minus 6 meters. And in your diffraction grating, that's the distance between the little lines that are on the diffraction gratings, 3.3 uh, microns, essentially. Okay, so there's 300 lines per millimeter in the, uh, on the diffraction grating. Uh, this question says that the angle between the second order image on the left and the second order image on the right is 40.6 degrees. So in other words, if we were to draw a diagram of this, we would have our monochromatic light source over here. We would have a diffraction grating here and we would have, we'll say, a screen here, right? Uh, here's our straight through position. So this is n equals zero. Uh, up here is we'll say n equals one and that would be on the right side and this is n equals one on the left side and then over here this is the one that we're going to look at in this question here n equals two and over here n equals two those are the second order images on the left and the right side now what the question says is that the angle between these is 40.6 degrees so in here is 40.6 degrees okay so the average angle then because we're going to need the angle between uh, the second order image and we're going to need this angle the angle between the straight through and a second order image like this which is theta so it's going to be half of this in order to get the average uh, angle between the two so theta here is going to be 20.3 degrees uh, in order to in order to do the calculation on this, okay, we're asked to figure out what the um, what the wavelength is. Uh, so we now have all of the information that we need because we know that n is equal to two for a second order image, right? Second order image. So then we start the calculation. How do we start the calculation? We start with the formula: n lambda is equal to d sine. Theta. Now n, we said was 2, we've got a second order image, so that's 2, times lambda, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to d, which is this value that we calculated earlier, 3.3 .3 by 10 to the minus 6. Biggest mistake people make when they're answering these questions is that they plug in 300 for d, which is incorrect. Uh, and then uh, sine theta, sine of 20.3 degrees. Okay, so let's rearrange this a little bit because I just want to get lambda on its own. So we have to divide this side by 2. So that means we have to divide this side by 2. So we get lambda is equal to 3.3 uh, by 10 to the minus 6 times the sine of 20.3 degrees all over 2. And then we put this into a calculator. To get our answer. So we get 3.3 .3 by 10 to the minus 6 uh, multiplied by the sine of 
20.3 degrees. Uh, and then we can get what that is, which is going to be equal to 1.145, we'll say, by 10 to the minus 6 uh, all over 2. And then divide that by 2. And you get 5.72 by 10 to the minus 7 meters. Now, often this is written slightly differently. And you can see the answer there on the calculator. Uh, often this is written slightly differently. It may be written as uh, 572 nanometers. That would be the normal way that maybe um, physicists or scientists would, would talk about wavelengths of visible light. And this is going to be visible light. Um, because if we remember right, the visible light range is going to go from the blue, down in the blue here, is going to be somewhere around 300, maybe 350 nanometers. So we'll say 300. 300 nanometers up to about 700 nanometers ish. That's a kind of a rough um, guide. So this is somewhere up near the top of that, up near the near the upper end of that. Um, okay, so common mistakes there is that people will put in the 40.6 for the angle, even though that's the angle between the two orders. So that's not what theta is in this equation. The theta here is the angle between the straight through and whichever order image you're talking about. Uh, other common, the biggest common mistake here is that for D here, people put in 300, uh, which is, that's the most common thing that people do incorrectly with these types of questions. Okay.